Sean, you should do a video on bad words. That would be a great video to do. Um, and how you can sometimes use bad words and it's not bad, right? Let's see if, if Sean takes me up on the challenge, takes me up on the challenge, takes me up on the challenge, takes me up on the challenge. Well, hey, welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you five bad words that are not bad words if you use them correctly. But before we get started, if you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up at some point during the video if it's helping you learn English. Looks like we got a lot of people in the chat already. Let me just check the audio to make sure everything's all right. Make sure everything's all right. Yes, everything seems to be working. Oh, before I forget, stick around to the end of the video where I'll have a special guest on the show. And I think you'll like it. So when we talk about someone who uses bad words a lot, we say that they have a potty mouth. A potty is another word used to describe a toilet. So when we say someone has a potty mouth, we're saying that their mouth is like a toilet. So don't have a potty mouth. <laughs> and an expression that we use when we encounter someone with a potty mouth is, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Meaning your mouth is so dirty that you shouldn't use it to kiss your mother. So, Shall we get into the lesson? Okay. Now, while we're discussing bad words, we're not limiting the words to just curse words, but also to words that are just considered to be bad or rude to use in polite conversation. Sorry, there's someone spamming the chat. I just gotta take care of this. Okay. First word that we'll be using is hell. So, the good way to use hell, it's used to describe a spiritual realm of evil and suffering. That doesn't sound very good, but it's not considered bad because we're discussing religion. An example would be weeping through hell. They haven't actually gone through hell, but it was used as an expression to show their suffering of the situation. The bad. It's used to express anger. An example would be, who the hell are you? I think you can see how this could be considered rude. They could have just said, who are you? A funny way that Canadians say hell is H-E double hockey sticks. So an example would be, who the H-E double hockey sticks are you? Yeah. It's a little bit of a way for us Canadians to get around the rudeness of using hell. The second one is dick. The good way to use this word is when you're referring to someone whose name is Richard, because dick is the short term for the name Richard. An example would be, my good friend Dick came over to my house last night to watch the football game. It's a person's name so it's not considered bad. The, the bad. Dick is another term for the male genitalia, the penis, and it is used to insult someone. An example would be, I don't like your attitude, you're being a dick. It can be also used to express that someone knows nothing. An example would be, you don't know dick about math, meaning that they're not very good at math. Number three is bitch. The good way to use bitch is when referring to a female dog. An example would be that bitch gave birth to five puppies last night. The bad, it's used to describe someone who's always complaining. An example would be stop being such a bitch. Number four is damn. Now there's two spellings of this word one with an N and one without an N at the end. When you use the one without the N, you're referring to a structure that prevents the flow of water. 
An example would be, the Hoover Dam is an awesome sight to see. The bad. It's used as an impolite way to express anger. An example would be just simply, damn, or damn it, or god damn it. All are bad and shouldn't be used. And the last one, number five, is bastard, the good. It's used to describe a child whose parents were not married before the child's birth. So an example would be, the young couple had a bastard baby. Now it could be argued that this is still not a good way to use the word, but it is technically not a bad word when used this way. The bad, used to describe an unpleasant or despicable person. An example would be, you bastard, I can't believe you did that. Okay, those were five bad words that are not bad words if you use them correctly. So, I think it's time to bring in our special guest. For a very long time on this channel, many of you have been wondering who Todd the Canadian is. Often you'll see him in the chat moderating what's going on down there. But I have a confession to make. Todd is not real. Todd is just a bot. Say hello, Todd. Hello, Todd. No, I mean, say hello. Hello. I apologize, there's still some bugs to be worked out with Todd. Sean the Canadian, may I ask a question? Yeah, sure, Todd. What is my purpose? Well, your purpose is to moderate the chat. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Oh, yes, Todd. That's actually another bad word. Taking the Lord's name in vain is a bad word. So the good way to use Jesus Christ is when referring to religion. And a bad way is when you're taking his name in vain. Thank you for that bonus word, Todd. Todd for a president. Todd for a president. Okay, let's 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 turn Todd off. <coughs> Anyways, this is Sean the Canadian. Please hit that red subscribe button if you're new here and give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you over in the next video. Peace. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's a little dry. Thanks for the video suggestion, Bob.